So across Australia there are 2.1 million prospective property buyers and um, that's a mixture of people who are first home buyers, upgraders and investors looking to buy an investment property or perhaps a second home or holiday house. And you find that nearly two thirds of those people will read uh, some sort of content from newspaper, news media publishers on a monthly basis. And if you look at the top end of the market, so that's people earning $100,000 or more, then that rises to three quarters. If you look at news media publisher content across different platforms, you find that all of it's heavily consumed. Um, but in particular, print is the most heavily used on a monthly basis. Um, but saying that, there's a lot of crossover in usage of the different platforms. And that's not surprising when you think about it because uh, they each have complementary benefits for consumers. So on the one hand, print uh, provides a one-stop shop and a very handy package. Whereas um, on the web, you've got the opportunity for photo galleries, same with tablet. Uh, then you've got the um, facility of location-based services on tablet and mobile. And so you'll find that 40% of people who use uh, property content on mobile are also reading print. And for tablet it's 50%, for web it's 50% as well. And from an advertiser's point of view, there's a real opportunity to uh, reach people in a, um, across those different platforms. When people are looking to buy a property, often that goes hand in hand with some kind of life change. Uh, that might be a new job or it might be a change in family circumstances. So often, for example, people might be looking to buy a new car at the same time. So it's not surprising that people looking to buy a property are also uh, more likely than the population to be reading motoring sections. Uh, they're also highly likely to be reading employment sections. Um, then, and I suppose the relevance for this for advertisers is that if you're thinking outside the box, then there's, it's not just automatically the property section. There's other, other places you can look. And a third good example of that is the business and finance section. So if you're looking to buy a house, then obviously you need to uh, raise finance for that, which leads people to those sections. So for advertisers looking outside the box, there are definitely other places you can go beyond just the property section.